The disease known as white nose syndrome was first detected in 2006 in New York. It's since made its way to the Midwest with a handful of confirmed occurrences in Indiana. Indiana caves were expected to reopen in April 2010, but McCormick's Creek State Park interpretive naturalist Sam Arthur says the closure was extended when biologists discovered how the disease was spread. Through a well-traveled caver who'd been over to Europe, had picked up the spores on their caving equipment, brought it back over, didn't properly clean that equipment, and went into one of these caves dropping the spores, and so the animals picked it up. But state park officials have been closely monitoring the situation and think they can open the caves without much to either bats or humans. Wolf Cave, because of its length, because of its size, was one of those that um, we felt we could open justifiably without negatively impacting our bat populations. Wolf Cave at McCormick's Creek State Park, Upper Twin, Donaldson, and Bronson Caves at Spring Mill, and Endless and River Caves at Cave River Valley are now open to the public. All other caves on DNR properties will remain closed as biologists try to get a better grasp on exactly what threats white nose syndrome poses.